We have a future leadership in our country of young people that have been devoid of that all-important ingredient in the home called mother. That male ingredient called father. Years ago, when Japan surrendered, and America was not vilified. America, they were the heroes. The ones that flew the atomic bomb and dropped the bomb over Hiroshima and Nagasaki were considered those who brought the war to an end, and they were heroes. I brought them here because so many young people that call my talk show railed against them and called them alcoholics and drug addicts and sorry for the fact they dropped the bomb. And when I brought them here, the only drunk I had difficulty was with a chaplain who had prayer when they left Indian Island. But the rest of them were highly intelligent. They were not suicidal. They were not drunkards. And when asked, would you do it again? Yes. Why? Because we brought the war to an end. To the end of those who started it at Pearl Harbor. They were our heroes. Today they become heels. Why? Because the home has literally been destroyed. The Equal Right Amendment, which was supposed to be to liberate women, did not liberate them, it enslaved them. They left the home, left their children, left their husbands, divorce rates skyrocketed, as Dr. Pincus said it would. And then the women began to listen to the fashion artist, many of which were homosexuals, and they began to dress like men. Lesbianism caught on and was very popular. Down with men! If you look at some of those that were saying, down with men, I can tell you something. Nature revenged a peeping Tom. They would never have to worry about a man making a pass at them. And then they dress like the very people they renounced, like men. Look, I'll give you a challenge. Watch old programs like uh, Andy Griffith. Here he is with Aunt B. Here he's with his girlfriend. He's with his son. They're having a picnic. All of the women are wearing dresses. Can you believe that? Because that was a style. But you see, we have created an atmosphere of brainwashing and accepted it without any knowledge that we are a part and parcel of the problem because, you see, the missing link in the home is more than a prevalent stink in the nation, and that is mom. 